To understand this, you have to go back to what young brother here referred to as the house Negro and the field Negro back during slavery. There was two kinds of slaves. There was the house Negro and the field Negro. The house Negro, they lived in the house with master. They dressed pretty good. They ate good because they ate his food. What he left. <laughs> they lived in the attic or the basement, but still they lived near their master. And they loved their master more than the master loved himself. They would, they would give their life to save their master's house quicker than the master would. The house Negro, if the master said, we got a good house here, the house Negro said, yeah, we got a good house here. <laughs> Whenever the master said we, he said we. That's how you can tell a house Negro. That house Negro would look at you and say, man, you crazy. What you mean separate? Where is there a better house than this? Where can I wear better clothes than this? Where can I eat better food than this? That was that house Negro. In those days, he was called a house nigger. And that's what we call him today because we still got some house niggers running around here. What you mean, separate? From America? This good white man? Where you gonna get a better job than you get here? I mean, this is what you say. I, don't, I ain't left nothing in Africa. That's what you say. Why, well, you left your mind in Africa. <laughs> On that same plantation, there was the field Negro. The field Negro, those were the masses. There was always more Negroes in the field than there was Negroes in the house. The field Negro was beaten from morning till night. He lived in a shack, in a hut. He wore cast off clothes and he hated his master. I say he hated his master. He was intelligent. When the house caught on fire, he didn't try and put it out. That field Negro prayed for a wind, <laughs> for a breeze. When the master got sick, the field Negro prayed that he died. If someone come to the field Negro and said, let's separate, let's run, he didn't say, where are we going? He said, any place is better than here. You got field Negroes in America today. I'm a field Negro. The masses are the field Negroes. When they see this man's house on fire, you don't hear these little Negroes talking about our government is in trouble. They say the government is in trouble. They controlled it so tight, they told those Negroes what time to hit town, how to come, where to stop, what sign to carry, what song to sing, what speech they could make and what speech they couldn't make, and then told them to get out of town by sundown. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh.